Hey everyone, welcome to Complicated Things. Today I'm gonna do a quick shoot about how I use a ring light. And I'm delighted to have Brianna here, who is a model, an actress, and a jazz singer supreme. <laughs> I absolutely love listening to her. I met her uh, recently at a jazz club. Yeah, the jazz yeah. club. The jazz club. Yes. Um, this episode's for Becky. Uh, Becky wanted to know how I used a ring light and I'm going to show you. A couple of things I want to say about ring light first. I'm not going to talk about a brand because I've used all sorts of brands. I have no uh, preference over one to the other. A couple of things I like about this particular one is it runs from batteries. And also what's important to me is that the uh, diffusion plate is flat. The bigger rounder diffusion plates that come on most of these, I don't like because it spreads the light too much and makes it too soft. I prefer a little bit of a harder light. Um, I have experimented with taking the diffuser off to get it even a little harder, but that's never worked that well either. Um, the other thing I'm gonna say is that ring lights usually come on a stand, obviously, that just goes straight down. I don't like that, I find it too hard to move around. So I'm just gonna pop this up on the magic stand here and I'll show you exactly how I use it and we'll take some photos of the lovely Brianna. <laughs> so I like to put this on a stand that is not like getting in the way of me while I'm shooting. So I'm just gonna put it on this Matthews magic stand. And then there's no wires because I said I'm on batteries. So when I turn it on and blind Brianna here, I apologize. <laughs> but just with a couple of move, movements here, I can get it pretty much exactly where I want it to be. Ta-da. There we go. When I'm using a ring light, one of the things that I really like is to have it close to the eyes. And I'll show you why. You can see that beautiful big circle and Brianna's eyes there. If I move it back to here, you can see how small and weird that circle gets and how it's not, the light is not spreading as nice on her face. The closer I get it there, what actually happens is that the light focuses on this part and we get a little fall off. And I think that's really important and that accentuates that ring feel. I just called you a model. And I'd like to apologize. That's You're a good. writer and an actor yes. and a jazz singer yes. supreme. Thank you. All right, to work out my exposure, I want to shoot as wide open as I can. This is a 120 millimeter medium format APO macro summarite for, an, for a, a Leica medium format S. And this particular lens goes down to two and a half. So I'm super quickly going to Taking a first shot, pretty sure I'm close. I'm at 1125 at 800 ISO. Um, the reason I'm shooting wide open, as if you've watched anything I've ever done before, I love shooting wide open, but it also accentuates the ring effect for my pictures as only that little bit of eye is sharp. Brianna, wow. Um, I'm gonna focus right on the eye. I'm gonna to pray to God it's sharp. I'm gonna try and say something funny, like <laughs> and we get a smile. I am pretty good with my exposure. Obviously the color balance is way wrong because I've done nothing to make it right. So I'm gonna ask Brianna to hold this gray card just in front of your face or just up a bit. And I'm gonna take a quick shot with the gray card. There we go, and I'm just going to do a super quick gray balance off that gray card. Uh, eh. I'm going to use the gray, and then at least I know that I am in the ballpark to start making some photos. So that's it, folks. Um, that's how I set up, and let me show you a little bit how we shoot. First of all, obviously, you know, arm exercises. <laughs> this is not an exactly a challenging shoot because Brianna is just so beautiful. Wow. Happy thoughts. Stop undressing me with your eyes. Wow, you look absolutely stunning. 
Wow, look at your face. When you talk about singing, <laughs> wow. Because they are actually for Brianna, um, I have not even asked her what kind of photo <laughs> she wants. I just went with it. So is there something you're particularly looking for here? Um, what kind of mood? I want you to get in the mood of whatever you want the mood to be. Yeah, I think I'm be. looking for a shot that's going to tell a story. I want my eyes to be able to tell a good story. All right, so look, look right into camera. And give me your best Brooklyn. Whoa, some attitude right there. Jeez, I'm nervous. All right, I'm just going to stop taking for, for photos for a moment. Um, so uh, everybody's going to ask about, well, you know, that's, a, that's pretty much out of the camera image. I've done nothing. Because it's you guys, I'm going to show you super quick a couple of things that I would do to, uh, to make it more, look a little more like one of my pictures. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this saturation down a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to go and find a thing called curves. And I'm going to do a little S curve. I'm going to pull the shadows down a little bit. And then I'm going to lift up the highlights a little bit. Then I'm going to actually go into this high dynamic range. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to drop the shadows a little bit and open up the blacks so just a little bit. And then we look at my saturation again and see that's kind of where I want it to be. And it's beginning to look like a Mark Man ring shot. Um, no retouching. This is pretty much right out of the camera with a little bit of um, a little bit of color balance, and I think it looks really beautiful. I mean, as I say, it's not challenging. Um, let's take some more photos. I kind of like maybe you don't have to look straight at me. Maybe like work work a little side face. That's beautiful. Wow, that's gorgeous. Really nice. That's really nice. You know the other thing I could do? Wow, that's beautiful. You look like an actress. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you do. So another thing to think about when you're doing this is you are super close to this human and it doesn't matter how experienced they are having their photograph taken, this is very uncomfortable <laughs> for them. So you have to make a big effort to kind of make sure that they're, you know, happy you know, doing and feeling comfortable. Wow, that's beautiful. My funny Valentine, sweet comic Valentine, you make me smile, smile, smile. <laughs> beautiful. Um, the other thing you can do also is I've been sitting, but if you want a little more height if you feel like you want to shoot down just bring your ring light up a little bit there you go it's gorgeous you're gonna have at least one you like i promise it's in the contract it's in the contract there we go so as as you'll see from this next shot i have a little more height wow chin out a tiny little bit own it there we go it's up to you New York, New York, da, 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 da. there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Really beautiful. All right, so um, another great thing about using a ring light is um, how little background you need. So in my camera bag, aha, uh -huh, is a Filflex. So let's say that we were, uh, we've been shooting on black and maybe we want to try something a little different. We can just pop a full flex and we have a white. I'm just super curious about that. Is this, is that crazy? Is the gold crazy? I've never seen it. All right, I'm going to try this. I've never tried it before. I think it's going to be rotten, but we'll try. You know, I gotta say, gold always seems like a good idea to me, mm -hmm. but never is. <laughs> yeah, let's do gold. Sounds like a great idea. 
There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that should be good. Now, let's do a couple on white and see what happens. That's my jam. The white jam. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty. Wow, great eyes. Great eyes. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. I love the white. But the other thing I want you to think about as well is, you know, super quick conversion to black and white. Um, uh, bada bing. And then, you know, we can push the contrast a little bit or however you want to, however you do your black and white. I'm going to do mine in Photoshop later. That's how I use a ring light. That's how I've done so many of these portraits with a ring light. Hope it makes sense. Uh, any questions you re reach out and maybe we should do an episode of the full retouch on that image. That could be kind of cool. What do you think, guys? Yeah. He says, yeah. That is how I use this ring light. No secrets, no like secret sauce. That's pretty much it. So points to remember, try and get batteries because I hate having that wire. If you can get it off that ground stand, it makes life a lot easier. And I use it super close to my subjects because um, I like the big ring in the eye. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.